Hey guys, it's Seth here with some actually really interesting Sonic IDW news that had just come out today. Um, for a while now, we haven't really had a whole lot of information about what's going on with Sonic IDW. Um, like what's going on with uh, IDW Sonic Comics. They've been very quiet in the last few months. I mean, granted, there was the Christmas break, and to be fair, that was there. But just ever since their event in, was it September or October? I think it was early October. We haven't heard anything. Um, and with the comics supposed to be coming out, like the first issue is supposed to be releasing in just a few months, it seems it seemed strange that we weren't really hearing anything. Um, but that has changed. Um, today, they actually, IDW made a Sonic IDW official Facebook group. Um, it is a closed group, so you have to send an invitation to the staff, but um, the odds are that they'll let you in. It's, it's, they don't seem to really have much criteria to actually get in. It's just once you're in, you have criteria to follow to stay in. So, that's are you'll be spending more time actually making sure you stay in rather than actually joining. Um, but that said, there is, they did confirm that there will be more news coming this month. And those on the Facebook group will be among the first to see it. So I assume that this will be something that um, will be available on the Facebook page, the Facebook group first. And then it will probably show up on the other comic sites. Um, and I say this because more than likely this news that they're talking about is probably going to be solicitations. Um, with the comics just a few months away, it is that time now where I think solicitations are about to happen. Um, with Archie Sonic, it, you, we usually find out like a few months later. Um, like a month or two sooner um, than we do with IDW from the looks of it. Like, it, it seems like the pattern with IDW Sonic is that we'll find out solicitations um, a month or two later than we would have if this was Archie doing them still. Which makes sense. Um, I guess they want things to be more set in stone first before they actually publish them. Um, but I think the main thing I take from all of this is that in just the span of one day we've had basically no outlet for news or really anything going on right now. So suddenly now knowing okay this is what's happening this is where it's happening let's do it. You know, it, it's, it's a big turnaround for a publisher that really hasn't been all that open. Um, honestly we have not had much of anything in term, like I said, we haven't had any real comics news from IDW, and really anyone for that matter, except Ian Flynn for basically months now. I mean, they've been so tight-lipped about this, it's insane. I don't know what... Like, I assume it's legal stuff. It has to be, because I can't really think of any other reason. Because um, there are still the matters of the Freedom Fighters. People really, really want to know if they're coming back. But they keep remaining tight-lipped about this. They're not saying who will be back. We only know that the characters that Ian Flynn created during the Archie Sonic era are not coming back. But that's the only thing we know right now is that Ian Flynn's Archie Sonic characters will not be in this, this comic. Um, and that this... like They keep going on and on about how new it is. And it's just adding more confusion because it just means they're dodging the question. Because when people say, are the Freedom Fighters going to be back? Your response is, the comics are going to be new. It's like, that doesn't actually address the question. Like, it, it just means you're telling us that it's new. We already know this. We know it's going to be new. They keep, and even now, even today, they, they, they were still, there was that, they made at least one Facebook post where they were just like, oh, hey, it's a new issue starting from number one. It's like, I'm pretty sure everyone knew it was going to start at number one. It's a new publisher. Like... We weren't expecting Sonic comic number two, 300 to come out. I think people were just wondering if the canon was going to be remaining. And apparently it's not, because they continue to make note of the fact that it's new. Everything about it is new. And it's, and it's just baffling, because like, we don't know what these comics are going to look like. We don't know who's drawing them. We, we know who's directing, directing them. It's Ian. We know Joe Hughes is going to be involved. Um, someone, uh, someone else is going to be involved. David, I believe, is... What was it? David? Let me see. What was it? Uh, I'm looking at the thing. David. Um, David. David Mariot. Mariot. Something like that. Um, 
they are working with Joe for the comic, so he's also an editor. So we now know another addition to the editing like staff for so- IDW Sonic. We still don't know the whole team, which is rather interesting. We still don't know the entire team that's going to be working on this. We still don't know, like I said, who's going to be involved in these comics. Like, the cast of characters, like, they're just not telling us. And, and it's frustrating, because, like, this is a huge thing. Like, suddenly we're going from the era of IDW Sonic, or, like, the era of Archie Sonic, where you had all these characters and this huge canon that had been established, and, you know, things were actually starting to like, pick up the comics now that the re- that re- in the post reboot era. Um, you had like you had near it three hundredth issue was about to arrive. You know this was nearly twenty five years ongoing. Like I can't stress enough how important it is that people should be kept in the like put in the know about what's going on in general. Like it doesn't feel like that for a while now we've really been get, having that benefit of at least knowing you know if the like I think a lot of these concerns would have been addressed if they would just simply say. Freedom Fighters are not in it, or the Freedom Fighters are in it. Like just the fact, just knowing would be, you know, helpful. And and as I said, they've been very very silent about everything else. All we've been hearing about is it's new, it's new, it's new, it's new, it's new. It's, new. it's like we know We're, you're not telling us anything new, you know. <laughs> in the, in that case, we you're not telling us anything new, and now we get to today. And finally, we're getting something. Like, we heard about pre-orders. Apparently, there's not going to be a subscription, which is odd, because not everyone lives near a comic book store. I assume you'll be able to... And and not to mention, you have a website. You can just... Can you just make subscriptions available to reserve online on your website or something? Like, like, I I, I don't understand what the problem is here. I, I... It... It just seems weird how kind of divisive the road to these comics have been. And it, it it's like at the same time I can understand, you know, a lot of things because let's be fair here. Archie Sonic has been so wrapped in legal problems in the last five to ten years that I can understand if they're wanting to play it safe. And then I wouldn't be as proud as they are. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that in terms of comics, there's not going to be, you know, a huge cast of characters at first. If we see the Freedom Fighters, you know, I'd be surprised. But, I mean, there are a lot of people that do want them back. I mean, there are also people that don't, but... It seems that the majority of Sonic comic readers do want them back. And they asked, like I said, they're asked about them all the time. It was one of the first damn things they were asked in the Q&A a few months ago. Um, that happened at Comic-Con, like at New York Comic-Con. And, and it's just clear that there's a desire, a fan demand for, the, for these characters to be in these comics. I, I don't know if they're trying to drive up anticipation or tension to keep us tuned in, but that's... I can understand doing this if it meant that the Freedom Fighters were actually there. But if it turns out that they're not there, then it's just going to upset people even more because it's like you've been just stringing us along for nothing. Just to let us down, you know? Um, I, I don't really feel like the lead-up to these comics have been handled well. And I'm really curious to see what's going to happen later this month and what the news is. I mean, it's, as I said, I think they're going to be... I think it's a solicitations. I think we're finally going to see what the writing's going to be like. I think we're going to finally see our first look at what the, how the drawing is going to be like. I mean, as you can tell, we already had a small sample from uh, Tyson's work. Um, like Tyson's work from, uh, from New York Comic Con. But other than this picture that you're seeing right now on the video... We don't know anything else about what they look like. Like this is all we know. We don't know if Tyson's actually going to be like a permanent, you know, pre- have a permanent presence in the IDW comics. 
We don't know if any who else is going to be involved. Like I said, we, we still have so many questions that we haven't had answered yet. And include stuff that I don't really see how it would be a legal issue. Unless there's an NDA thing or... I don't know. Like, I have no clue. Um, it's kind of baffling. I mean... But the, I do want to give credit where credit is due. And there's one thing Archie Sonic did wrong that... IDW Sonic did right is that you now we now have a central place to find out news. We didn't have that just yesterday, you know. They created a Facebook group specifically so people can discuss IDW Sonic, just discuss Sonic as a whole, and also, more importantly, interact with them and communicate with them and let us know what's going on with IDW Sonic and how things are progressing. That's huge. This is something we needed. Like RG Sonic never gave this to any of us. We had to rely on their Twitter page and their Facebook page and kind of sift through needles and haystacks to find information, you know? And, okay, and, and it wasn't really to interact with people either. It was just basically the comment on official stuff like solicitations. And it was really just solicitations that we were finding out from Archie on their social media. Here, they have a Facebook group because specifically did specifically dedicated to talking to us Sonic fans and especially Sonic IDW you know people interested in IDW Sonic and wanting to find out more information that's huge and we've already found out a lot of info we've already gotten quite a bit of info um, from today it, it, it's not as much as we you know heard from the panel a few months ago but it sure as hell is more than what we've heard from them in the last few months um, the fact that we now have a little bit more information on pre-orders, which we still don't have yet, by the way. We, there still hasn't been any pre-orders yet. I, I assume that there will be pre-orders when the solicitations come out. I, I, I assume that's how it works, but... I mean, either way, the fact that IDW is doing this whole Facebook group thing is nice. Especially in the comparison to Archie, where they just... You have to pressure them to do anything, and apparently you've had to pressure them to, to even give you a refund. You had to call them and call them and call them and call them. So, like, that shouldn't be a thing you'd have to do. It should be a standard procedure thing that when your comic book series is canceled, especially just out of the blue when no one was really expecting it, and you just suddenly stop, that should be standard procedure. Just mean, okay, to tell people, especially to notify them that if they want to, they can get a refund. Just even a notification telling them that they can get it if they want would actually be nice. Just, just the communication has been so sorely lacking from Archie. It's like they don't care. And here, I can at least give IDW credit. They're trying not to associate themselves with what happened with Archie. And that's completely understandable. Because Archie is just so... Whew. Like... Archie Sonic has become so tainted with with reboots and legal issues that at this point I can't blame IDW for not wanting to go anywhere near that. The question is, since the Freedom Fighters apparently the Freedom Fighters are not owned by Archie. They're not even Sega owns the rights and apparently so does uh, DIC who publishes Sat AM and like helps make Sat AM and stuff like that, I do believe. Um, and if that's the case, that does increase the odds that the Freedom Fighters will be here. In, in the IDW. The question, however, is does Sega want to play it safe? Take the same standpoint that they've been doing with their games and play it safe. Because as far as people are concerned, when people think of the Freedom Fighters, they don't think of Sat AM. Maybe if you were old enough to remember the time when Sat AM was, you know, on TV and it was airing regularly and stuff like that. Like older Sonic fans and stuff like that. I can understand, you know, thinking of Sat AM. But for a lot of people, when they think of the Freedom Fighters, they think of Archie Sonic. They think of the comics. So, by not having the Freedom Fighters here, by not, they, that association with Archie Sonic would suddenly go away. You know, they, they, like, what I'm trying to say is, they're, IDW is probably, could be so concerned about association with Archie Sonic and all the tox, toxicity from that and, Stuff like that. That they, they even the freedom fighters are probably not something they want to, you know, think about right now. 
that's a theory. That's my speculation. I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm just speculating because at this point, this is all we had to go by. It's pure speculation. Um, they just are. They haven't really been open about things. They're only just now. See, it's like only now they're starting to open up. Um, I guess that's the way to think about it. Is it's kind of like like Sega. You know, they they get quiet about what they're working on for a while, and then suddenly they decide, oh hey, hi, we're back. You know. I, I think that's the way to look at it. It's just, you know, it's kind of a similar case with comics. It's just you don't hear about them for a while, like, and then suddenly they'll show up and say hi, and then we'll get a steady stream of news. Um, and that seems to be what we're going to start seeing now. Um, I think this Facebook group is a sign that finally the silence is about to be broken, and for good, because now we're going to start seeing, you know, comics come out every month, solicitations. And there'll be stuff to write on for TSOC again. I know that much. Uh, it's going to be interesting to finally see things pick up again. Um, of course, you know, as soon as we start getting solicitations, we'll have inside the pages and first look again on TSOC. Um, because we haven't really been able to do that because, you know, obviously there haven't been anything we can really show. Um, like, we can't really haven't been able to relay you guys any solicitations because there haven't any, been any yet. That's about to change very, very soon. As I said, I think within the next month we'll know for sure. And they did say this month we will find out. So, as we're noting, I'm recording this on January 11th. It's going to be up later today anyway. <laughs> um, probably within the next hour or so anyway. When, by the time you guys have seen this. I don't know, but whatever. You, you know what I mean. It's going to be... Uh, you guys are probably seeing this soon anyway. Um, but the point is... We have about roughly two and a half weeks left um, in the month. So that only leaves two and a half months left until we find out solicitations, whatever this information is. Um, if so, then we're probably not going to have that long of a wait between now and then. Because with only two and a half weeks left in the month, then, oh boy. It's, it's going to be interesting. I, I'm... It's going to be nice to finally see IDW Sonic opening up. And I'm really hoping that this result goes well. Because right now the expectations are really... I wouldn't say they're high, but considering you know what we've had to deal with. Like what the comics... Sonic comics have had to deal with in the past year. It's worth noting, around this time last year is when we, we got our last Archie Sonic tweet. And when we got our last information from Archie and about anything related to Sonic really. Um, so it's been a whole year since we've gotten anything, um, comics-wise, and people are really wanting to know what the hell's going on. I, I can't stress enough how awkward it is that we've just been getting no information at all, and, you know, for, especially for something, such a huge transfer as this has been, just, it feels underwhelming in comparison, you know? It doesn't feel fitting or right, if you ask me. But I've been going on, rambling on long enough about this. It's just, we haven't really had, like I said, it's been a buildup of stuff in the past few months, you know, just not hearing anything, and now finally we're getting something. As a matter of fact, I want to see if we, let me check, before I finish the video, I want to see if they actually, you know, revealed any more information. Um, because for all I know, they've been going at this throughout the day, and for all I know, they may have just they might have announced something else. I mean, it's reason that I've been seeing TCC articles showing up on on here already. Um, I, I wish they made it a little bit more easier to see their posts because it's not exactly... It hasn't been easy to find their posts because now we're starting to see a lot of fans joining. And it's becoming increasingly difficult to see their responses. So I really would hope that they start filtering their responses into just a solid post. Um, but j just more solid information. Um, oh, that's interesting. The first four... Wait a second, we did get something. Hang on here. Uh, the first four issues are being released weekly in April. Ian Flynn is writing, and more information will be revealed soon, this month, and you'll be among the first to see here. Including the IDW Sonic artist. And he says, my lips are sealed. Huh. Well, to be fair, though, 
that does give more credence to it being solicitations, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, a lot of people have kind of decided that this is probably going to be solicitations. But if they are solicitations and it's looking that way, then we would find out what the IDW Sonic artists are. Um, it's... This is crazy. This is crazy. Um... I'm, I'm I'm really glad to see that they're starting to open up now. I mean, I I just want to, as much as I've been kind of rambling and ranting for a while here, I, I again I want to make note of the fact that I do, I am glad to see that they're opening up now, and they didn't make a move that Archie Sonic never had. Um, that alone is a plus side compared to what we had to deal with with Archie Sonic. So it'll be now I actually have a, an easier way of being able to get the news to you guys uh, in terms of comics and news. Which is something that we just didn't have before. Um, but, yeah, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if I did a video in a couple of weeks or so that talks about what we learned from the solicitations or something. So, um, the wait's nearly over, so we'll see. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. I've gone on long enough. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of it. But anyway, guys, I will see you later. But for now, Sassy Stuff signing out. Can't wait to see what these comics are going to be like. Sayonara, guys.